If you're looking for a very creative way to get into real estate investing where you can help a lot of people and make a lot of money in the process of helping a lot of people, you definitely want to learn the ins and outs of investing in pre foreclosure properties, pre foreclosure properties. So my wife and I, for over 20 years now, we've been full time preacherpreneurs. So we pastor church, we preach, we've done it for over 20 years, but we've been entrepreneurs full time doing both. And we've learned that the more we can help people, it just seems like the better our business is. And of course, we still have to run a business. We have to make money. We have to take care of our family. But we also want to make an impact and help a lot of people. And I'm telling you now, as an investor who invests in pre foreclosures, it's one of the most impactful ways to help people because of the level of distress that almost all of them are in. And so I want to just give you some 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 tips some direction some perspectives about investing in pre foreclosures which by the way we have an entire course that we teach the ins and outs of investing in pre foreclosures we have videos documents forms uh, other resources we have a community of investors who are very creative in their approach to investing in pre foreclosures and guess what we have a mentorship program where we host regular workshops and meetups uh, where we come together to underwrite deals, we role play, uh, we make calls and contacts, and we actually do deals together. So if you're interested in it, don't hesitate to click one of the links that you see in the description. Reach out to me and my team. We'll be more than happy to give you answers to any of your questions and some direction on where you need to begin with your creative real estate investing venture. All right, now, with that being said, I want to start by giving you a clear working definition for what a foreclosure is. Because if you're going to invest in pre foreclosures, well, you need to understand the, the general uh, concept of a, pre, of, a, of a foreclosure. So by definition, a foreclosure is the legal process a bank goes through to take possession of a property. That's what a foreclosure is. Now, of course, this legal process happens when the homeowner or to the bank, they are considered the borrower when they default on their loan. So we understand that someone buys a house in order for them to buy the house. They get pre-approved through a lender or mortgage broker. They get a loan from a bank. They purchase the home. The bank does not own the home. The homeowner or the borrower owns the home because their name is on the deed. However, the bank does put a lien against that home through security instruments like promissory notes and deeds of trust or what we commonly know as mortgages. So a lot of people think, which is a misconception, that the bank owns the home when the bank doesn't own the home. The bank has a lien on the home because the homeowner has a loan with the bank, if that makes sense. So when the homeowner, who's the borrower, who owns the home because their name is on the deed, when they default or stop making their payments, the bank is like, hold up, wait a minute. Even though we don't own the home, we have this security instrument, this document being held as a lien against your home and your ownership of that home. And in order for us to take possession of that home, we have to go through this legal process called a foreclosure. Now, there are many steps in this process and I'm looking at my worksheet in front of me. So if you see me looking down, just know I'm looking at my worksheet. Uh, I identify with at least six stages of a foreclosure. And I just want to skim through them. The first stage is, of course, the payment default, typically after 30 days of being late. So when that borrows at least 30 days late, that's going to be considered a payment default. Uh, the second stage is a notice of default. That's typically after 60 days of being late. Now they're going to receive a notice. The third stage is a notice of trustee sale, typically 90 days after the notice of default. So we're already about four or five months in on a typical pre foreclosure. So now there's a notice of trustee sale where the bank is like, okay, we're serious. We're going to get our attorney involved. They're going to file the paperwork with the county that your, your home is in and uh, we're going to begin the process of taking possession. The fourth stage is what we call a trustee sale or an auction, typically 30 to 60 days after the notice of trustee sale. And uh, then we have step five, which is considered REO, where the bank takes possession if no one purchases it 
at the auction, and then the sixth stage would be the eviction, typically 30 days after the auction. So we want to focus in on the pre-foreclosure phase. Now there are some investors that focus on, let's say when uh, the, the borrower gets a notice of default where they may only be one, two, maybe three months behind. Uh, for one of my real estate investment divisions called RP Capital Home Solutions, we try to focus on the pre-foreclosure properties that are somewhere between three to six weeks away from the auction. So according to these stages, that would be somewhere between uh, stage three and stage four right before the auction. Now there are so many reasons why we focus on that particular window. I'm not gonna get into the details, but I just want to explain to you what those stages are and why it's important for you to decide based on your risk tolerance and based on how quick you can actually make a deal happen. And depending on how creative you are, meaning that if your acquisition strategy to purchase a pre-foreclosure is more creative in nature, meaning that you are going to look to purchase it subject to the existing loan by paying the arrears, getting the proper, getting the loan reinstated, and just following off where, following up where the borrower who's in default left off, which is another process, uh, then you're not going to have to go through the same process a traditional real estate investor would have to go through. But again, we want to establish the fact that this is a foreclosure and if you are considering investing in pre-foreclosures, number one, you have to determine what stage in the pre-foreclosure process leading up to, of course, the trustee sale or the auction uh, that you want to purchase the property. Because if you don't purchase the property or pursue to purchase a pre-foreclosure property, before the auction, then after the auction, it's either a REO or it's going to be sold at auction. And once the bank owns it, that's a different process.